This next piece I'm going to perform for you is a format I myself have invented, and I like to call it juggling. What I'm going to do is perform the scene while somebody from my vast studio audience calls out uh, different things. Now one person will call out an emotion that I will then evoke, another will call out a genre, um, I might be given an age, and a random word that I have to use somehow, and I could also be given stage directions. Um, really there, there's, there are lists, and it's a vast plethora of things I can be given, but that's good for now. You, sir, member of the aforementioned vast studio audience, um, could you please, as I perform, tell me things that I will juggle and incorporate into my act? Thank you very much. I would like to begin with a title for this piece. And it could be a location or a character name or type. Character. A glass raft named Edward. A glass raft named Edward. Now, I see you're the kind of person who's going to try and stump me. Okay, good. Don't make it too complicated, because I'm simple. Not true. Okay, a glass raft named Edward. Thank you. I'm going to die out here, aren't I? I've been paddling for days. I have no food now that I finished all my cheesies. I don't see any land, just... Well, at least I can see the bottom of the ocean. Edward, I thought you and I would be so happy together when I took those vows and said your vows on your behalf. But it turns out naming my raft and then spending eternity in it isn't really enough to make me happy. Discover a helicopter. Edward! Do you see that up above? It's a helicopter. It's noticing the shiny glare of this mirror-like surface. Thank God you're made of glass. You! Up here! Up here! I just realized I've dropped the one thing that was going to help me paddle. <coughs> oh, luckily it's floating. Ah. Uh. And, for extra complication, here's the part where you, my audience member, can now, every 5 to 10 seconds, call out another item, word, or an action, or, or a genre, or emotion. Just spit them out as I go. Okay, okay, uh, helicopter, uh, rescue me! I'm so sorry, Edward. They might not be able to rescue you. I know I said till death to us part, but... Um, please save me! Please save me! Call something out! The helicopter drops a net full of wigs. Wow! Thank you! That is going to absorb all the toxins in this ocean, because that's a good thing to, to donate your hair when you cut it to a good cause. And that was so considerate! It's probably going to absorb all of the water, and through this rope... Um... It helps if you're attached to the hair. I think you just read the end of Rapunzel. I think you skipped the whole beginning and middle part, which it's okay. Thank you for the wigs. <sighs> Not the helicopter helping. hovers there aimlessly. Reminds me of a Douglas Adams novel. Okay, Edward, the good news is I still love you and we're going to be together forever. Thank you. Yes. Okay. And now thunderous applause from my vast studio audience. Crash! Crash! Boom! Rumble! Rumble! That's how they applaud. Thank you.